Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 1, Lesson 8, Area of Triangles. The objective says, I can use what I know about parallelograms to reason about the area of triangles. Find the area of the triangle and explain or show your reasoning. Well, we already worked and gleaned the idea that we can take two identical triangles and pair them together to create a parallelogram. And we worked diligently to figure out how to find the area of a parallelogram. And eventually we gleaned a formula to find the area of any parallelogram. We could use the formula area equals base times height. So I'm going to look at this first triangle, this top triangle, and I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of it. And then I'm going to pair it with the original triangle, and you can see I've created a parallelogram. In this case, a rectangle. And I know how to find the area of a parallelogram. I can use that formula, area equals base times height. Well, I see that the base is six units and the height is four units. So then the area of that parallelogram would be 24 square units. There would be 24 of these squares inside that make up the space, the region of this parallelogram. Well, the triangle, the original blue triangle is only half of that parallelogram. I needed two of those to make the parallelogram. So I could just cut that in half and then I would have the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle would be half the area of the parallelogram. So then I would just cut 24 in half and know that the area of the original triangle, that blue triangle, would be 12 square units. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this next triangle. This triangle is a little uh, more challenging to make a copy of. First thing I'm gonna do is make a uh, line segment that is exactly the same length as this, four units, and connect it to the upper vertex. And then I would connect that to the other vertex over here. And now I've made two identical triangles. Again, we'd have to think about having it rotate all the way around and land on top of itself. But again, I've made a parallelogram a quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. I know how to find the area of a parallelogram. I can multiply the base, 4, by the height, the perpendicular height, of 3. And so then inside of this, if I were to decompose this part right here and rearrange it, place it over here instead, so that it has a familiar rectangular shape, I would see that there would be 12 of these squares that would fit inside of that decomposed and rearranged rectangle. Well, again, that original blue triangle is only half of this parallelogram. So then to show the area of the triangle, just the one triangle by itself, I just have to cut it in half. So the area of the triangle would be half the area of the parallelogram. So instead of 12 square units, this blue or shaded section would be six square units. Again, our objective says I can use what I know about parallelograms to reason about the area of triangles. I know that the area of a triangle is half the area of a parallelogram that has the same base and height measurement. Thanks for watching.